Welcome back to our Express Yale Town Special. You shop in this area for something a bit beyond the mainstream. And that's exactly what Beauty Mart provides with their products and with their advice. Beauty Mart's like girl heaven. If you're looking to reinvent yourself without anything too painful or too permanent, Beauty Mark is the store for you. So we have um, makeup in the back, um, and then we go up to the front. It's more skincare and fragrances and jewelry and things like that. Um, but everyone who works here is a makeup artist, so that's kind of what we focus on more is the makeup. And makeup mavens have known about Beauty Mark for a while. The store has been open for 10 years, and its success is part stock, part service. The products that we carry are really hard to find things, specialty, novelty, anything that's unique and different from what everyone else is carrying. We're really personal, we really like to help our clientele without pushing them and making them buy things that they don't need. But what we do need is to know what's hot for fall. Fall is a little bit more matte this year. We're finding it's a bit more browns on the eyes, a lot of plums and cherries on the lips and cheeks, still focusing on like either lips or eyes. You don't want to do both, otherwise it tends to look a little bit heavy. Yeah, we're just dusting the lid with like a nice neutral. <laughs> also we've seen in a lot of the runway shows um, really bright eyes and just do like a nude lip with that. Like you could do like a bright purple or a bright blue or something like that. It's kind of like this special hidden secret place. People who are coming to look for like different and special things come down to Yale Town. But if you want to go to like a department store, you're going to find like the same stuff as every other department store. I'm Erin Shaw in Yale Town for The Express. Beauty Mark is doing Halloween makeup by appointment throughout the month of October. And they do great work, both Halloween and otherwise. Now, I don't know about you, but the fast pace in this neighborhood sometimes makes me feel like I'm wearing many hats. And if that's the case, then we want to make sure we're wearing the right ones. It was 1895 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, when Castle Gurin started selling hats out of the back of his horse wagon. It basically developed into Gurin Brothers by his two sons, Alfred and Ted. When they took over the company, that's how it became Gurin Brothers and it is now being run by the fourth generation, uh, Ben Gurren, who is the great, great, great grandson of Castle Gurren. There are 11 Gurren Brothers hat shops in North America. The only one in Canada is right here in Yale Town. And manager Matt Clayton knows the importance of a good hat. It just makes, you know, it makes your outfit that much greater. You know, you could take a boring outfit and you put a hat on and it makes it that much more interesting. It's a nice wool blend, definitely a very popular style. A lot of our hats are a wool, um, but we also do a lot of variations of blends like rayon and polyester and cotton. And you'll find the majority of our hats are a mixture of all those fabrics. One trend for men and women this year is the fedora. It's just a recent trend. Uh, you're definitely noticing it in all you know, the fashion magazines, all the celebrities are wearing them, so that obviously you know, brings it out to the public's eye. It's a classic stroller style fedora. Works really well for both men and women. The beauty of our store is almost every hat in here can be worn by a woman. Um, all these hats are unisex and we're actually selling a lot of men's styles fedoras to women as well as duck bills. Um, but we also have a few women's particular shapes uh, like the cloche, which is an old 1920s style but it's, you know, making a big comeback right now and it's uh, definitely doing well for it. It is the asymmetrical fedora, designed specifically for women. It's a very unique shape. I like it. It's very cute. Matt says for men, the duck bill and a good old baseball cap should be staples this fall. My favorite hat in the store at the moment is the one I'm wearing on my head. Um, this is a bowler, and this is part of our heritage collection. Gurin tries to keep its heritage alive even after 100 years in the hat business. Because we did start in 1895, we want to continue with that kind of antique look, and that's why 
all of our stores are all decorated with antique furniture and antique props. So I think that, you know, Yale Town's a perfect area for us to be situated in. In Yale Town, I'm Melanie Panetta for The Express. The Yale Town Gurum Brothers store location is the only one in Canada so far. They do have plans to expand across the country. You're watching our Express Yale Town special, and we have arts and eats coming up. Up next. Yes, it is the foodie center of uh, Vancouver, but second, you could afford to come. Restaurateur Imad Yakub. It's always about the value that we you create. That's what makes people coming into the area that they've never been trying. Cheers. Artist Leanne Lane. I started painting wine and it just overflowed from there. The Express. This is your local voice. Halloween is a time for families to join together and create fun-filled memories with their children. At Shaw, we're proud to be a part of that tradition. For over 20 years, Shaw Pumpkin Patrol has come together with communities across Canada to care for our kids on Halloween. Watch for us in your neighborhood and join the effort. When we all come together, the result will be amazing. Visit shawpumpkinpatrol.ca to learn more. Together, we can keep our communities safe. Welcome back to our Express Yale Town Special. Now this area is known as a hot spot for dining out, but you know what? It wasn't always that way. We have your quick history lesson on the taste of Yale Town. Four years for a taste of Yale Town. Um, have you noticed a big change in the restaurant scene in this area? Well, you know, uh, when I when we came in into Yale Town ten years ago, it was only about four or five restaurants in Yale Town. Now we're I think about 34. Started the program. It was a little hard to get people on board and get everybody excited to be in it. But after the first year launch, everybody got in it and it became an incredible, exciting experience. It's hard to imagine having to get people to come to Yale Town, though, to eat, because it's really known as, like, one of the foodie centers in Vancouver. Well, the whole idea of this of Yale Town was doing two things. One is to tell people is, yes, it is the foodie center of uh, Vancouver, but second, you could afford to come. <laughs> yeah. So, because people always assume Yale Town is very expensive, it's expensive condo, expensive restaurants, it's going to cost me an arm and a leg to come in. But, an example, here in society, we have the menu three-course meal for $25. I don't eat out a lot, but every Friday we have a tradition between me and all my executive teams. Every Friday we go to a new location. I wish my meetings at work were like that. <laughs> there are 26 restaurants participating in the 2010 Taste of Yale Town, and it runs to October the 31st. So we've talked about the art and business of food. Up next, it's the art and business of wine. Taylor Wood Wines in Yale Town offers a large selection of BC wine, and they also feature fine art that's wine art. It brings out this room, uh, it has on the canvas all about wines, and that's what we are, is about wines. Uh, it's great during the tastings that we have, we've got like 30, 40 people that are in here, they walk around with their little glass of wine, and they talk to us, and we can also at the same time discuss art. Yeah, we want to make sure that we've got uh, the light capturing the texture. How's that? Perfect. The works are by Leanne Lane, an artist inspired by the artistry behind wine. I'm not your connoisseur or a professional enthusiast, but I enjoy it. And it just one day, while I happen to be drinking a glass of wine, I thought, why not? So uh, I started painting wine, and uh, it just, just overflowed from there, literally. <laughs> this is the 12 by 36 that they wanted. They want some 16 by 48s too. Leanne began selling her work online and was soon so busy her husband quit his job to work with her, turning her original paintings into limited edition prints called giclées. My limited edition canvas giclées I actually apply some hand-painted um, embellishments with some gels and acrylics. And basically the idea is that it gives it the look and feel of an oil painting, but at a much more affordable price. 
My artwork is eccentric, it's modern, it is not, um, I mean I do various styles but I, I do like expressing myself, a lot of it having to be involved with a lot of colour and you know some art enthusiasts or artists can be afraid of colour but I just, I just throw it out there. It's just a joy for me and it's something that I've been doing all my life. And Taylorwood Wines will continue to hang and sell Leanne's art on behalf of its appreciative customers. They love the colorfulness of it and how it just brings out the canvas and the actual painting of the wines and glasses and it just brings an all out cheer to everybody. And you too. Cheers. Cheers. I'm Kendall Harris in Yaletown for The Express. Leanne hosts regular art shows that often include a wine tasting, and her next one's on Saturday evening, November the 6th, in White Rock. As for October events here in Yaletown, well, that's where we're shining our Express Spotlight. Venture through Yaletown and do your trick-or-treating. Pick up your route map at the Roundhouse Community Centre and collect your treats from participating Yaletown businesses. Finish your trick-or-treating in Yaletown and enjoy the ghoulish games and creepy crafts at the Halloween Carnival. Then explore the creepy hollow forest full of spooky surprises. Enjoy culinary delights and delectable wines from over 20 of Yaletown's best restaurants. Partial proceeds from the Taste of Yaletown go to the food bank. That's it for today's Express Yaletown special. I'm Johanna Ward and on behalf of all of us on the show, thanks so much for watching. We're going to leave you with some fun at the Roundhouse and we'll see you next time.